Hey, this is Bill Burgess with MacProVideo.com. Pro Tools 10 has got feature enhancements for post-production guys, and I wanted to take you through some of the very cool stuff for music creation and independent music professionals. This version of Pro Tools has a number of new editing features and enhancements that we should take a look at. The first one would be crossfade overlap. You can now see crossfades in this view, and this is particularly good for musicians who are trying to merge uh, similar sounding rhythmic material or even DJs. It's a great view to have. So that overlapping crossfade is great. It's accessed through the view menu under waveforms, just like that. And while we're on the subject of fades, previous iterations of Pro Tools always had to render fades. So the bigger the session, the bigger the fade files. And it became very hard on drives and disks and speed. So what we have now is real-time fades. They're automatically rendered within the system. There are no longer fade files in any of the Pro Tools sessions. Right-clicking now a clip inside of the clip list now gives me the option to reveal this in the Finder. And this has much been sought after, and it's Reveal in Finder. You can go down and just exactly grab the file and be done with it. So that's great. The next one is for TV people, film people, is a 24-hour timeline. The reason this is important is that film is in reels. So reel one would be starting at one hour, reel two. So, uh, you know, a 15, 16, 17 reel film, and now you can do that with this full 24-hour timeline. So that's something that film mixers have been clamoring for, and so they finally got that. This one is the Mac Daddy of, of them all. It's called Clip-Based Gain. And basically what this appears to be is a rendered file of some sort. You've got a piece of audio with a little fade down and obviously digital silence here with a fade up and then more digital silence. In previous iterations of Pro Tools, you would have created this with audio suite, fade, reverse, etc., and then consolidated the clip using Shift Option 3. But when I reveal these new clip based lines, you can, there's be a fader at the bottom of left of every single clip now. And you'll notice that I'm not calling them regions. They're no longer called regions, they're called clips. And you can draw this automation directly in. As you can see, there's the fader. But this is my original file. This is the drawn in automation. And when I go to hide the clip line, this is what I see. You can also convert this clip-based gain into either volume automation. You can take what you've drawn here and put it in volume automation on the on the fader, or you can take the volume automation and print it to clip on the actual clips themselves. So that's also very cool. Uh, clip groups. It's also quite interesting. I have three tracks here that I've selected, and they are a group. And when I right click and say reveal clip line, I have these clip based lines on three clips that are merged into a group. So when I go ahead and draw automation onto one of the clips, all three pick it up, and then I can hide that line and move this around as a block. So I find that particularly intriguing. So cool, uh, let's keep moving in new features in this version of Pro Tools.